Uh, uh, another thing I'm going to be doing today, I ordered spark plugs, so I didn't wind up changing the spark plug yet, but I am going to be taking this top off and putting a new top on here. And while I got it off, I'm going to straighten it out. See how this side kicks way out sideways? Well, that ain't supposed to be like that. So I'm going to see if I can't straighten this thing up a little bit while I'm working on it. Oh, the joy. Like I've got, I've got a, a boat top, a canvas boat top for that trailer with the arms and everything. And I changed the top on my pontoon boat the other day and I realized that as heavy as that stuff is, if you stood that up somewhere, it'd be big enough to sit a lawnmower in and keep it out of the weather. I, that boat had a boat top on the back and another one on the front so that the whole thing would be covered up like a covered wagon. And I got to think of it, if I went up to the, the shed up there and brought that other one home, set it out here in the woods somewhere, set it up like it would be on a boat. That'd be a good place to store something like, you know, maybe that rat rod trailer or something like that. I want to get out of the weather and didn't want to take enough space over here. And then that. So, while I got this trailer out, I might go up there and grab that thing too. So I may have probably talked about putting a new top on the boat, but I don't think I've actually videoed any of it. And uh, I did put a top on a boat. I actually took off a 10 foot heavy canvas top. I put an eight foot cloth top on it and it was too small. And when your top is too small on a pontoon boat, that means one end or the other kind of stands way up in the air. So I took that off, I put the 12 foot on it. The 12 foot was a little larger, well obviously, than the 10 foot or the 8 foot, but it also sat lower, so I had to readjust my rails. And the reason it sits lower is that height of that top is really very much determined by the size of it. I've got one post that's anchored. You can see it back there, the one that's the got the little bar that comes down. The other post just comes to the front as far as the top will let it. Well, if your top is longer, when this part comes forward, it's going to come further down. So I had to readjust that. <coughs> Got it on where it fits nice on there. Uh, and it's not real tall, but neither are me or honey babes, so it works out good. It sat down here during the big rain and it filled up with water. And when it did, it bent this piece so that it was shaped kind of like the letter C. I mean, it came, I mean, it came way up like this. It bent this piece like the letter L, so it came. So it came up and then did this, and when I straightened it, got a little crackage here. I think that'll be okay. And me and Honey Baby were going to put the cloth top, which is under here. We're gonna put that on today, but it's so windy down here, I just decided, nah, not gonna do that. So what I am gonna do instead is just crank the motor let the battery charge a little bit and get my magnet tie a rope on the end of it and sink it down over here and find my wrench which it almost looks like as clear as the water is although it's brown it's only brown because the dirt's brown uh, but you can see the bottom here so i think i dropped it right in here so I wouldn't be surprised if i didn't see it gleaming down there i'm gonna tie a rope on the end of this magnet this is a shop magnet and use it to uh, to fish up nuts and bolts that fall on the floor. I'm gonna go fishing with that shop magnet to see if I can't find my wrench.
kind of how these go up on here. <laughs> and they have zippers, unlike the, you know, the big canvas top that I took off. It just did not open and lined up right there, so I could go ahead and do that one. I was kind of waiting for Honey Babe because I need her to help me when it comes down to... Uh, found the wrench that I dropped in the water but I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to soon uh, I keep thinking at some point I'll look over this edge and see it shining down on the bottom there I can kind of I feel like I can see the bottom here pretty well and I'm pretty sure I dropped it I thought I dropped it right up here so I see it but I don't. But if it warms up a little bit more and it might get warm enough today, I can, uh, I can quite literally go in the water, take my magnet with me, walk along the boat, and work it back and forth till I, till I find it. Whew. Oh yeah, loving this day already. I could easily spend the better part of the day down here fishing. I see something white floating in the water across over there. Let me see what it is. Oh, joy. Oh, I forgot to film that last part. But you got the idea how it goes on. Um, this top is torn here which is kind of a problem. I'm not sure what the best way is to fix that. And also, it doesn't set the same way now. I feel like these bars need to be shortened. What I may do is uh, go up to the house, get a drill and some, and some vice grips, and lower the back down and adjust the front till I get it where it needs to go, and then drill a new hole in there and put a bolt in it. So, yeah, that might be where I'm going with this. We'll see. So this top is torn here. And that, I think that lets this come down lower because this is eye level to me here. You can see the top is low enough to be in the way. Now I was thinking about lowering this back here, like cutting this down. It occurred to me if this thing would sit at a different angle, it would actually fix it. For example, I don't know if I can get you where you can see me real good, but I'll try since you're out there. If this sat like that, more sense to do that than it would to start cutting that top. Plus, uh, Honey Bear's going to try to sew up that spot there where that poor tear is. And, uh, I think it's going to cut and I'm just going to bring this up here. Tighten this up pretty hard. Yeah. Pretty good.
leave this alone until after I bet takes it has time to uh, What I'll have to do is give me some more of these bungee cords. And I could put the cover on that, but instead I could wrap the bungee cord around it on both ends because I know we're going to be unwrapping it again here in a little bit. Uh, if she decides to sew on that today. So, yeah. I got some other stuff I'm going to need to be doing today too. So, I might let it go with that for now. Okay. 